landing big planes on a short runway. The airport is Homestead General Aviation Airport in Florida. Runway is 3,000 feet long. We'll be starting small and working our way up, including a classic and the AN-225. Leading us off is the TBM-930. This should get us warmed up for the larger, more challenging landings ahead. You know, I always enjoy the sound of the reverse thrust on the PT-6. What do you think? Are you a fan? Now, let's try a vintage aircraft, the Ford Tri-Motor. This aircraft actually flies, you know, surprisingly well. My one complaint, though, is the brakes. It's, uh, not that great, but you'll see. Whoops, too much back pressure. Just trying to get that tail down. Looks like we're logging two landings today. In case you're wondering, we're actually playing full brakes here. Two hours later. Well, they do agree, he's with WD-40. Do finally. All right, time for the 737. At least we have better brakes and reverse thrust. Too low, terrain. Too low. Is the right air going to flutter this landing? It certainly wasn't butter, but also wasn't too bad. Let me know what you think. Are the Ryanair pilots keeping their day job? And finally, the AN-225. It always amazed me how something this big could actually fly. Maybe even more amazing if we're actually able to stop in time. Stop. We're not trying to waste any time with the landing gear. Prior to landing, make sure to stow those tray tables and hit that like button. Landing was a little flat. Let me know which landing you thought was the best. And if you have any other suggestions on what we should do next, let me know in the comments. When you pay for the whole runway, you use the whole runway.